We have the Viral Snackle Mystery Boxes of Plushie with Snacks. Many of you grands have been tagging me everywhere on these, whether it be on YouTube Shorts or TikTok, so I got 15 of them. And as you can see at the front of the box, it does say unbox me, I double in size. So I'm really curious how big these plushies actually are. And make no mistake, these are by the same company that gave us mini brands mini figurines. So if you're a collector like me and you like mystery boxes, then this is the perfect review for you. And with mini brands, we got so many different kinds of collectibles, whether they're mini brands toys, mini brands different kinds of food, mini brands Disney but now we actually have a mini brands plushie and the concept behind this is that each figurine comes with its own snack hence the name snackles here for example we have an axolotl with Reese's peanut butter cups or even a bunny with Cinnabon that's actually a perfect pairing a hippo with Mentos and oh my goodness they look pretty big they're actually quite a sizable character and there are 11 to collect which means the 15 that I got hopefully we'll be able to get the entire collection however today we're going to be doing half of them let me know in the comments which one do you want I really want the dragon with Tabasco sauce or even the unicorn with Fruit Loops I'll take any of these but to be very honest they're all absolutely adorable so I'll take any of them as long as we don't get too many doubles or triples and each one of these is ten dollars US so if we change that we have hundred and fifty dollars worth kitty editor take out your calculator and then add thirty dollars US shipping convert that there you go I spent almost two hundred dollars on these things or over and while you're down there letting me know which one you want the most, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do and click on all notifications while you're there. Otherwise, this sharp pointy thing will be waved at you. You want me to wave it? I'm gonna wave it, I promise. By the way, I know that many of you grains love decorating things, but what if not only decorating, but you're also decorating in a castle? Yes, you get to decorate your own castle in today's sponsor, Royal Match. For those of you who don't know Royal Match, it is a match three puzzle game that incorporates exciting power-ups to complete each level. And every time you move from one level to the next, you move on to different areas in order to help King Robert bring it back to its former glory. Not only is Royal Match the perfect game to unwind after a long day, but the game has an endless variety of strategies and actual unique events. And on top of all of that, there are no ads and you don't need the internet to play. This game really does have so many things to offer. In addition to the match three puzzles, we also have different game modes where we can help King Robert escape his nightmares. And you know with over 4,500 levels, you're sure to stay busy for quite a bit. You can also join a team and get help from teammates, both as a team and individually, you can compete for local and global championships. I know for me, this game is absolutely fun to unwind with. So what are you waiting for? Check the free to download Royal Match game with my link down below as well as the pinned comment and remember supporting our sponsors directly helps me be able to do more reviews thank you to dream games for sponsoring a portion of today's video this is a perfect time to remind you grains and YouTube that my videos are product reviews for people with purchasing power not for little ones my content never was and never will be for kids so today we're basically going to find out if these are worth your cash or if they go in the trash so first things first let's just move these They're rolling. No, no, no. Just move you. No! There. With that said, let's see what we get inside. Oh, and I forgot to mention that it says Snackles. Which Snackle will you unpackle? I want to laugh. It's really corny, but I'm a sucker for it. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, so let's see what the unpacking experience is like. Oh. Very nice. What a huge difference from the actual mini brands, which goes something like this. What kind of opening is this? Very nice. And the second layer. Come on. Did I get you? Yes. Yes. Very beautiful. Not very beautiful. <laughs> All right. So who is our first snackle? And the answer is nice pop. Oh. <gasps> Okay, okay, today go be a good wait. Does that smell? No, that was just my mind playing tricks. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have more surprises. Interesting. My goodness. Though I don't know if this is going to double in size, but look at it. We have the unicorn. Oh my god. So here's the unicorn with the absolutely gorgeous hair, and it's holding a box of Fruit Loops. The box is plastic, the plushie is nice and soft. So you do get two different textures on here. Look at that. 
I am in love with this hair. It really does look like Fruit Loop cereal. For those of you who don't know Fruit Loop cereal, it is a very North American comfort cereal that we grew up with. It's basically colors and it all tastes one flavor, but it's all colorful and nostalgic to a sense. And here's what it looks like. Nice box and the back. What? There's even a back? I did not expect this. So we have a sticker design on the back as well. Here's what the top looks like. I did not expect there to be a whole 360 thing going on. <laughs> Super cute, loving it. And we have a metallic sheen on the inside of the ears. The quality is actually pretty good. There's a little thread over here, but otherwise the plushie is super cute and the eyes are actually embroidered, which is nice. Now I'm really curious what this is because I don't recall there being an extra surprise. So let's see, what are you? You are. Stickers! Oh my god! No way! So we have a Kellogg's cereal sticker, so this is brands, obviously, and we have a Zuru Snackles sticker. Oh, okay, characters have a story. What? So it looks like this unicorn is eating cereal, started to sneeze, and then exploded cereal? Is that what it is? I guess? I don't think it does anything. And then here we have all the different character guides. As you can see, we have all these cute characters from the bunny, we have the bear, we have the unicorn, we have the doggy with actual ramen, which is pretty cool. We have the elephant, the chicken, the dragon. I really want the dragon. We have a sloth and the cow. Oh, the cow has rainbows in its ear. That's cute. Okay, so far this is a way cuter experience than I expected. I'm loving this. I did forget to mention that the back of the mane is also super colorful and saturated. I absolutely love this. Next, and yes. So far we're doing pretty good. One of the things I do find odd about these balls here is that there's 11 figurines to collect, which is a kind of weird number to have as a collection. Usually they'll round it up to 12 or 10, but 11 is a weird one, but I guess I'll take it. Who's our next one? <gasps> a different, oh my god. Don't tell me that's the dragon. Who is this? Okay, it's the axolotl, oh my goodness. Let's put these away. My goodness, that is adorable. So again, these don't get bigger. I don't think they're twice as big as the ball. It says I double in size, but I don't think this is quite double. Not sure, maybe they grow in the next day or something, but I'll let you know if that's the case. And for the axolotl, my goodness, this is a very different kind of fluff. It's almost like hair type texture, very, very soft hair. We have the little sides over here and it's making the same face as the unicorn, right? No, kind of. They're both sticking their tongues out, but that's about it. And here we have the Reese's peanut butter cups. Here's what the front looks like. And let's check the back. Oh my goodness, we actually have a back. And if you don't know Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, it's really popular, again, in North America. I know in different parts of the world, they're either imports or you don't have them, but it's basically salted peanut butter pieces around the chocolate. It's really hard to stop once. It's really delicious. And the belly is looking very normal. The plushie itself is extremely soft, like really, really soft, pleasantly soft. And the face is definitely very embroidered. Otherwise, nothing too special about this plushie other than the fact that it is indeed cute. And the extra surprise, what do we get? We should be getting two stickers. I'm guessing one is the Zuru. Oh, here we have the story. Okay, that's cute. So we start off as a treasure hunter. We find the treasure, dig it up, we find the chest, we're like, oh my goodness, it's Reese's! And we just leave all the treasure behind and only take the chocolate. That's cute. <laughs> and then, oh, okay, this one we've seen, but we get a Reese's sticker. I like that. I'm gonna probably put these in my sticker book. No! <laughs> this one didn't make it. Nice. And we have no, don't be a double. Oh no. Wait, is it? Is it? <gasps> my dragon! I am lucky! Oh my goodness! No way we got the dragon. No way. So here is the Tabasco dragon. I love spicy food. So if I get a chance to put Tabasco, which is very mild, by the way, it's just extra flavoring with vinegar, but it is absolutely delicious with foods. None of this is sponsored. Hey, if y'all want to sponsor me, you know where to get me. And for this one, we have cute little teeth that are actually pieces of cloth that are a little bit more stiff. Here's what the Tabasco sauce looks like. And there's no back to this one but it is indeed plastic. 
And even the wings of the dragon have glitter on them. Now, I hope the glitter doesn't come off. And the answer is no, which is great. So we don't get microplastics everywhere. And the two little horns are also glittery. We have the cute little nose. And here's what the back looks like. So you can see the texture and the pattern behind here is like tiny scales, which is very cute. I love this one. The only downside is that there are patches of random white cloth here and there, which kind of make it look a little cheaper compared to the other ones because the axolotl didn't have these white patches here and there. So maybe they need to work on that one a little bit more. But I love you, baby. You're so cute. You're very spicy. I love you too, Jackie. Okay, sure. <laughs> And our surprise pack should have the story and the sticker. I really want to see that Tabasco sticker. And it is, oh, look at that. That's really different. We actually have a Tabasco sticker in the Tabasco logo, which is a square piece. And this character's story, let's find out, was blown out a birthday candle and then went out. We put a Tabasco sauce, we drink it. <gasps> We get spicy. We blow the candle. Oh my goodness, look at that face. We go, rawr, I'm gonna blow this. It's the best thing ever. And now we can actually blow out the candle. Really cute, I like that. What's our next one going to be? Yes. Wait, there's codes? <gasps> are they all the same? Yeah, these are the same. Let's try another one. Yeah, they're all the same. Okay, we, we can't try and figure out which one's which. Ooh, that was close. I basically got the two that I really wanted. So let's see if we get the one that you really wanted. And, oh, that is different. Is that the cow? No way, she's cute. We have the Mike and Ike cow. My goodness, this is, this is really cute. This, the softness of this plushie is really enjoyable. And we have Mike and Ike. For those of you who don't know Mike and Ike, they are basically gummies that are similar to jelly beans, but have a texture between a gummy bear and a jelly bean. I'm personally not a huge fan of them, but I do love the aesthetic and the colors. And let's see the back, my goodness. Here's what the back looks like. So it even tells us the flavors. Look at that. We have Caribbean punch, strawberry banana, grape soda, peach berry, and even the nutritional facts and all the ingredients too. What? That's cute. And the front of the box, the top and the bottom. And this cow over here has also some glitter in the ears. I expected it to be a little bit more rainbow. Let's check if the glitter comes off. Nope, which is great. But I love the fact that they put the colorful item with the black and white character, which makes it stand out a little bit more. Here's what the back looks like. None of them have tails. I just realized the dragon also doesn't have a tail. They're all tailless. Would have loved to see tails on these things. Even the unicorn has no tail and the axolotl. All tailless. I really wish they had tails now that I think about it. And the reason why I thought the cow would be more rainbow in the ears because the character guide showed us that it was really, really saturated colors on the ends. However, if we look a little bit more closely, we can see that it's more of a gradient rather than a rainbow gradient. So the colors here are different from the colors over here. And it's not making a face. It just kind of be. Let's check out this character's story and stickers. So here we have the story. And the sticker is, voila, Mike and Ike sticker. And how did this cow come to be? Okay, so it was chasing a rainbow and it saw balloons, it picked up the balloons, got onto the rainbow, and at the end of the rainbow, it found the Mike and Ikes and that was its treasure. Very cute. Let's find our next baby. Bruh. Oh, that's, that's a different one. I see different colors. You watch your face. Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right, we have the character. No, wait, it is, no way. Oh, hang on. I'm getting so excited because now we have the ramen dog. Cute. Again, super soft plushies. They're not so much squishies, but they are pretty squishy and they come back up. So it's not a squishy squishy, it's just squishy, if that makes sense. It's not slow rising or anything. And here we have the popular brand Maruchan, which I believe is available internationally. It's basically noodles and soup base and you just put hot water on it. But I have to say, once you taste the Japanese version of any kind of instant soup, you can't go back to North American version. North American version, I'm gonna say it, just tastes like colored water, <laughs> it's gross. 
And this one is the chicken flavor. And you can see the noodles over here, little pieces of chicken, cooks in three minutes. Let's see the back. And we have all the information, even the cooking instruction is right over here. Very, very cool. Love the details. And similarly to some of the other characters, the puppy is sticking out its tongue. The eyes are very nicely embroidered onto the character. But other than that, the dog is pretty plain. We don't have any kind of glitter in the ears. There is no metallic, nothing going on in the back. So despite the fact that the puppy is cute, it's pretty plain. The only saving grace really is the fact that it is holding something. And here we should be getting the Maruchan sticker for the logo. Let's see that. Okay, it's kind of more plain than I expected, but here's the logo. As always, we have the character guide and the character story and the snackle sticker. And the story is Doggy was sleeping, then there's playing fetch, the ball got thrown, but Doggy is still sleeping. And then we have a frisbee, and the frisbee is thrown, and Doggo is still sleeping. And then there's the Maruchan. Doggy's like, what? I want this and then grabs it and falls asleep with it. It's kind of cute, sure. These stories are definitely nonsensical, but I hey, I'm engaged, I'm into it. So far we have five out of the 11 bibbies. I'm really excited to hope that we do get at least seven in this unboxing. But hey, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if we got doubles. Would be different. This one's new, this one's new, it's pink. We're not gonna look at it just yet. Oh my, I think this is the sloth. Yes, it is the sloth. Let's let's floof it up a little bit. My goodness, that is, that is really pink. That is really, really pink. So here we have the sloth and it's holding a push pop. Now I don't know if push pop is international, but I remember that it was really popular. It's basically a candy that is in a kind of lipstick or lip balm kind of material and you push it out and it kind of tasted like Jolly Ranchers. So it's very fruity candy. And the sloth has really soft hair. Every single one of these plushies has really, really soft hair. Absolutely love the texture of the hair. And here's the face with the eyes closed, just looks really happy. And let's see this push pop a little closer. So we see here, it says strawberry artificially flavored. And in the back, we see more of the logo with strawberries all the way around. That is really cute. Cool. I said cool. <laughs> and here's what the back looks like, which is kind of plain, but the front is pretty cute. Material is adorable and we have plastic. Let's see what story and sticker we get. So in here, we usually have always the same things, but we're gonna pull out the ones that are different. And we have the Push Pop sticker logo. These are really retro and really fun. I love that. Of course, the Snackles character guide and now the story. And the story is, it is February. Oh, for Valentine's Day. And then we're chasing the Push Pop. Okay, and we're chasing into fall. Okay, and then we're chasing it into winter. Why? I'm not sure I get this story, nor if I like it. I'm kind of impartial, closer to negative. Who will you be? I don't know why these are always so satisfying, but they are. Let's hear that pop, very low. Let's see the color, uh-oh. Oh no, we have our first double. We have the Mike and Ike cow. Why is the mouth crooked? Is it me or the mouth is crooked? Yeah, it is. Oh no, this cow is a little wonky. He's doing an awkward smile like, hi, I am shy. <laughs> so here you can see that the cow is a little wonky with the smile. You know what, it's wonky, but it's cute. And again, you can see the colors of the ears are different. We're still not getting a rainbow gradient on either of them. So you know what? I'm not too disappointed because I know someone who's going to love this. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, and six out of the 11 characters. So the question is, will we make it to the seventh different character within the same unboxing? Let's find out. Here's the ball. And if I had to choose one of these ones that we should be getting for today, we have the hippo, the bunny, the bear that we still didn't get. We also have the chicky, the elephant that are basically missing. I'm gonna go ahead and hope that we get the chicken. That's my hope. Let's see if it's yellow. No, but it's a different color. <gasps> we did get seven. We have the bear! 
the Hershey's Chocolate Bear. Now I'm pretty sure Hershey's is kind of international at this point, but maybe I'm wrong, let me know. But look at this front, it's actually embossed. I can actually feel the texture on the chocolate over here. The bear is super soft very very soft nothing in particular special about this bear but it is super cute super soft the inside of the ears are a gray color let's take a look at the back of the chocolate and it basically has the nutrition facts and the ingredients make s'mores time let me know in the comments do you like s'mores i love s'mores it's basically you're taking marshmallow you're heating it up or burning it in my case putting it on top of chocolate and graham crackers i just love burnt marshmallows in the summer that's just me i run the campfire burnt marshmallows mm -hmm. But yeah, similarly to the other characters, we still don't have a tail. It is cute, but otherwise pretty plain and comparatively, com and comparatively. Wow, English number one in comparison to the other characters. But I do love the Hershey's though. Let's check out our sticker and character story. So of course, oh my goodness. Okay, we have the character guide, the Snackles sticker, and the Hershey sticker. A little plain. I wish they would have added a little bit more of the logo or chocolates or something going on, but it is basically the logo. And the character story, Bear's eating chocolate. Bear's belly is full. Oh no, Bear's belly is not full. Bear's belly is like, I'm having a belly, a baby, a food baby. A food baby? Is that what it's called? When you're eating and you have a belly because the food is yummy, it's a food baby, I think. It's like, okay, I got an idea. I'm gonna turn the chocolate into my abs. <laughs> Look at me, I have abs now. If only that worked that way. This is both silly and cute at the same time. Let me know in the comment section below of the ones that we opened, did we get the one that you wanted? Or if we didn't get the one that you wanted, which one of these is your favorite? Stay tuned for part two so that we can hope to unbox and get more of the entire set. If you want to watch more unboxings, make sure you check up here. But if you want to watch something a little crafty, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you brains in the next video.